everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. And today, have you got an old bed sheet? I have an old bed sheet. Uh, it's a white one. I'm no longer going to use it. I've washed it, bleached it, dried it. And here it is in all its glory. And now I'm going to cut it up. Why? So that I can turn it into fun things with to make uh, with to make junk journals forthwith. There we go. All right. So the easiest thing to do with a bed sheet is to tear it. Honestly, it's just, it's the way to go, everybody. Um, so I'm just going to cut a couple strips. If it has a, if it's a fitted sheet, you can easily tear this off if it's a cotton sheet. Um, okay. She's always hoping that it works when she says that. Let me tell you. And I'm just going to cut a few strips. Maybe some thinner, some thicker. And some thicker. Okay, so it's going to give me a lot to work with. Very easy to tear. Don't really need all this, but I'll just take a chunk of each. Um, let me back up a little bit so you see, see the excitement and the glory of everything that's going on here today. So you have this nice piece to work with. Go back to the top again and find our where we started. Get some more. Whoops. Knock over everything on the desk because that's what we do in the world of junk journals and put that one off and then wait see we got one more um and there are so many fun ways you can decorate bed sheet in the world of junk journals and you can get so many supplies from one bed sheet so if you can sacrifice or salvage one if you don't have one go down to your local thrift store they'll have one for not much money i promise you or ask family and friends it's a great resource it's it's, it's kind of like the way quilters used to take old material, old jeans, old this, old that, and make beautiful things with it. So here's the skinny mini. Here's medium mousy. And here's <laughs> chubby wubby. Okay. <laughs> All right. We've got our contenders in place. Now, uh, we have done some of these before, but I'll just bring them back into your, your recollection and your memory. Um, so a while ago, um, I took some uh, torn bed sheet and I just rubber stamped on it. Simple as that. You can use any ink. Simple as that. I've always done black or brown just because I thought it was neutral and it could go with everything. But maybe I'm going to take it up a level. Maybe I'm going to add some different colors. I've never really done that before. So let's see where that takes us. Let's go with the uh, small one. Or maybe let's go with the large one. Okay. And I'm just going to take possibly a peg stamp. Here is a nice peg stamp. Um, I get mine from Nora Jane on Etsy. No affiliation, just like her uh, peg stamps. I'm going to take some brown. I'm going to, if I want some nice printing, I am going to squirt my pads with a little water just to wake them up because mine are used and abused, let me tell you. Okay, so these are a really nice way to make your own little embellishments and adornments. I think they look really cute. Let me see how good this. Oh, see, that was a little wet. Okay, that might have been a little too wet. That's okay, though. They're better. Okay. And, and you could just, okay, let me zoom in so you can see. Whoop, that's a little close. Um, let's go there. Okay. So, um, and you can make clusters of things. Or you can make single elements. And... Um, so we have something like this, like, what is that going to be? I don't know, but I'm just going to leave it here as this. I can rip them apart or I can just leave it all on one, uh, chain, like one strip so I can cut it apart as needed. So let's say we just want, maybe I put too much water here. Let me go and try vintage photo as opposed to walnut stain. It's a little drier. Maybe drier is better on the fabric. Let's see. I'm not adding water. Dryer is better. I don't know why, or else it's this ink. Okay, let's do a cross comparison. This is photo. This is walnut stain. Um, I can't really do dryer is better because this is all wet now. Well, that won't really work, but just do one. Yeah, it's very different. I don't. I think it's because it's wet. Okay, so go with dryer. I don't think it's the ink. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but now, let's say you want to come in and add some different colors. This is peeled paint. So maybe I'm working with winter or fall designs or um, what have you not. Maybe just want to do something with leaves. 
um, you can cross mingle right in there different um, that's kind of pretty isn't it um, I like that it's like a little chain of leafies right on the the, the background of the muslin which is so pretty just so darn pretty if i must say so okay put your lids on or you'll never remember or i won't remember i can tell you that much um all right you can pick neutral things okay let's try a combination of something here let's try a rose a swizzle and some rose leaves okay so here's a rose i think these are rose leaves and viney stuff okay so um, let me put, let's use the green again and see what we get. One, we'll just do some random ones here. Two, three, interspersed. Okay. Then we're going to come with the, the rose itself. And maybe we're going to do a rose from fired brick. I put my lids on or I'll, I'll lose my, I'll lose my way. I'll be gone. I'll be gone. Poof, off in a direction. Nobody will ever see or hear from me again. Okay, here we go. There's the rose. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, so now going to intersperse and intermingle. Not that one, not that one, not that one. It was this one. Swirly, viney like stuff. Um, covering the red. Maybe the swirly, viney stuff needs to be, it could be green. It could be brown. I think I'm going to go with green. I think it needs to be green for some reason. Okay, I'm going to grab, not, not adding water, no. I'm just going to sort of add it like it's coming out around the design maybe a little bit. On the top, maybe that's actually working really well. That, that looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it in a little closer so you can see it in a second. But you can make some really pretty designs here. Huh? Come on closer. No, no. Okay. So this is just playing on a bed sheet with nothing more than a couple of inks and some rubber stamps. Okay, so now we have that. That could be used for something in a junk journal. Um, could be a page edge trim. It, you could fold it in half and make um, signature tabs out of it. That would be really cute, wouldn't it? Uh, I mean, just so many things. You could take the whole thing, do that to it, and make that be your journal tie. You could actually put it on the front and the back. If you, oh, it kind of comes through the back. Maybe not. Um, so let's try something else. Let's try using one thing like this rose leaf in multiple ways, maybe in multiple colors. That would be something new. Okay, so I'm going to go top, side, Side, almost like a triangle of leaves cluster okay so now we're going to get the, we're going to use the same leafies but we're going to add different color like worn lipstick Whoop, there you go okay rub rub okay right here oh look at that very nice so you can use one stamp one or one tool multiple ways Getting a little crowded in there. I know, I know, I see it. But we're going to do a focal point, which I think might be fun. All right, there. Okay, so we have that. Now I'd like to come along with a, a focal point, which will be what? I'm going to find something here. This makes no sense at all, but I'm just going to do it. It's a rotary dial face. And I think I'm going to do it in black. I know. I know I said I was going to use other colors, but I think it needs to be black to pop. I have no idea if this is going to work. We're going to try it together. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but um, you can layer over top. Let me show you closer. You can see the clock fate. You can see the dial numbers. That's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. You have to admit. I was thinking no, but now I'm thinking yes. Okay. Um, all right. So um, other things that you can do, um, not necessarily related to Distress Ink, but since I have my watercolor out here, we're just going to put watercolor on here and see if it's all about putting pigment down 
on get you a bigger view the muslin the cotton bed sheet blends will work but i think you get there's a, something about the oh something laura ashley about that i don't know it's very pretty um there's something about the the pure cotton muslin which really grabs nicely cotton is cotton i mean it's just it is what i lost my little bowl darn it you know what i do have though hmm. okay no let's start with the watercolor okay that's all right i'm just going to reawaken what i had before there now i have water and ink play in here i'm gonna make a flower i'm gonna make a little flower okay one flower petal two flower petals oh this is actually very fun oh, I, i'm really liking this oh i like that very much get a little more there to, 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 to. oh ho ho i think we're on to something fun okay that's really good i'm gonna do a few of these in a row give me a little more water over here okay yep we're in the we're having fun I'm going to add a little more purple, just jazz it up a little bit. Okay, spread it. See, these do spread. This is Jane Davenport watercolor, and it's kind of acting like watercolor paper, which is kind of cool. Okay, so this is what I'm using, in case you're wondering. That. It's just a little palette, a little tiny palette. So here's my hand. Here. It's a little tiny palette. Got it forever ago. It was time it need I really have been wanting to come out and play and draw and things like that again. So you might see a little bit of that going on these days. Okay, here we go. Petal. Let give it breathing room, like spread spreading room. Petal. You can always go in once it's dry and add over petals. We have just a four petal flower this time. That's okay. They don't all have to be five. All right, try again. I'm really having fun with this. This is really cool. One, two. Oh, see, I got the tip and some pink. Can you see that? So that's giving a little pink on the end of the the brush, which is kind of cool. Got to admit. All right, that is very cool. Oh, oh, we are so excited with ourselves today. It should be illegal. Okay, probably is in some places oh goodness here we go all right more purple i don't know why we're doing purple flowers or just we just are maybe we'll poke it again in the red just on the tip you can go right into a, a color and tip it okay and more more color tipping all right no nope, not getting it so much there but you know it's always a surprise with these things just never know what you're going to get. All right. So let's see if we can go back in after and do some tipping. Why am I not getting red? I know I'm, I'm rolling around in the red here. Okay. There we go. That's how we do it. Just go back in and do it after. There we go. All right. There we go. And be done after the fact. There we go. Let's let that all spread and become something. Very cool, right? All right, so we're back in the purple. All right, so now we'll do a different kind of flower. We'll do this one. So it's the three petal gigantic lily style flower. And um, it, will, it will have some color changes as it goes down. I think I'm going to go in the green. I don't have anything to rinse this with, so we're going in with a dirty brush. Dirty brush here. A little water, get it going to the green, commingle everything together, making dastardly changes to what we were doing. And I'm just going to give it a little. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. We'll just give it little stems. They don't have to have stems, but you can stem them if you want. Maybe this stem. Can you see that one? It's going to come from the side. Okay, let's go square one. That's weird, but it's all right. Leafies. Do a little leafy. 
they leave see a difference. You paint on material that's different than oh, I'm dragging my sweater through this. Um, uh, it's different than paper, but that's okay though. It's very good and it's okay. These are really cool. I like these a lot. <laughs> I could totally see how we can have fun with these in junk journals. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so maybe we're going to try. We've tried rubber stamping. We've tried this uh, painting, which is so cool. Um, let's put a little more water here. All right, so got green, 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 a little purple. Um, the flowers can go the other way, like the pinpoint of the flower can be down in the center. That's a weird blob. I had a lot of water on this one, so sometimes you just got to go with it. Maybe it's not going to be a flower. It looks like a Pac-Man, one of those ghost Pac-Man. It does, I know. Um, so we will just maybe give it one of these over here. I don't know if it's going to get the same thing. A big flower. That's just a weird looking flower, but we can make it work. Because flowers are sometimes, they're weird sometimes. They are. Okay, there we go. Here's that strange bottom hoopla of many flowers. Uh, give it a little intensity there. And it gives it a little shoop there. We have that beautiful flower. And it's actually changing as we watch it. Um, I'll show it to you this way. All these chow these chowers, these flowers are changing as we watch them. It can kind of look at as they're drying, different effects. Really pretty stuff, huh? Who needs stencils? You could just make a ton of this. Oh, this would be so cool. All right, we're having entirely too much fun. We need to tone it down. All right, got, okay, I'm going to back you up again so you can see what's going on. Wetting this, co-mingling all the colors. It's not the right thing to do. It's lazy artist here. Okay, I almost made a black. That's cool. I know, I'm just picking up leftover colors and mixing them all together. And Sometimes you either get browns or grays or blacks when you do that. Let's do a little wispy flower. So we're using it as, almost as a pencil. Yeah, one of these funny little floofers. All right. And you could do an entire journal based on this color scheme, maybe a gray color scheme. You could make grayish flowers. That would be cool. Mm hmm. Okay. So you could go for a neutral. Um. Pollen. I know it's very large pollen, but it is pollen. Um, and let's go back in this green. What is this color? It's like a blue or something. Let's just see what we get. It's just fabric, and we have a whole bed sheet to play with. Why not? All right. I'm just going to try dotting. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Dotting. Oh, my hand fell. Okay, just like random. Two keys. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. And now I'm going to go back and get some green. And set that a little bit. Rolling around in the green for a little bit. Drying it out a little bit, maybe not so wet. And I'll just do some little streakies get some flowers going that way um so yeah you can do a lot of different variety with different brush. this is all with one brush this is the infamous 12 snap around princeton there's there's a code it's a round snap 12. it's got a point and it's round so you could just keep doing this. You know what I mean? This this would be so much fun. I'm really, really having a lot of fun doing this. Okay, so maybe we just want to do some grasses because I have green on here. So I do grasses. Just simple little things like that. Um, a little taller that whisk over. And like this. 
kind of like corn stalks, something like that. Um, and uh, you could do a, a little green, like tulip almost. All right, there you go. There's a tulip. Oop, oop. Oop, oop, there we go. And um, maybe we could do a leaf of, in painting style. Dun, 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 dun. More of a leaf there. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So just simple designs like that you could do, palm frond things. And so they do, they're like this, and they do dry a little bit lighter. But very beautiful, aren't they? And they can certainly be used for a lot of things. Um, let's put a little blue tip on this and see what happens. We just dipped it in the blue paint. Um, maybe I'll do a long thing. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Long thing. So it's got green, but it's got blue, little, little extra something there at the end. Nobody knows what that is. We're going for it. Just like a little different color of something. All right. Jim. Jim. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, maybe an aloe vera plant. Hey, roll with me on that. And I'm almost done my little strip. So I might as well just finish the strip, right? There's no reason to stop now. Now let's keep going. Okay, let's go hiss and let's put some purple on the end, see what happens. Try another flower. We'll watch her. Kind of went back and forth. I was just trying something different. And then maybe a completely different center color. Maybe this light blue. Get that rolling. Probably supposed to do it like this. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get it really wet. It'd be better if you waited for this to dry, but, you know. Oh, that's kind of pretty. A little more concentration of that color there. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can definitely play with your um, watercolor set that you forgot about. You know where it is. You bought it. It's stuck in a drawer or a box somewhere. Pull it out because this could be your time. Oh, I'm putting blue paint in the pink. Let's see what happens. Maybe I'll get purple. Maybe, maybe. Oh, lots of pink. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I kind of like that, just like that. Just like free-flowing and easy. So let's take a look to see what we did. Very nice. Very relaxing. Could tear these apart. Use them in your junk journals. You could use the whole strip as a binder to sachet, sachet, as a sash for your junk journal to hold it all together. You could really just go to town and have fun. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to show you. Use because that's the fat one. I use the fat one because I thought it would be easier to see, but let's just say you have a skinny one, okay? And let's just say you have a little coffee left over from the morning, okay? I'm not going to drink this anymore. This is just coffee left over from the morning. Sticking it in there. Sticking it out. And now we have coffee dyed. Bed sheet. Oh, now the possibility. So if you do not have sorry silk ribbon, if you do not have seam binding, you can get a very similar look with just a torn bed sheet. And... Get that the end. I'm just going to let this hang to dry somewhere. I'm not going to drink this anymore, remember? I'm not drinking this anymore. Don't forget. Don't do it. Okay, so that's really pretty in and of itself. Look at how, I think it's even picking up some of the leftover paint from the water. Let's just stick it through here and let's just see what we get. Why not? I bet it's going to be pretty. Okay. So now it's got some um antiquing on it i would say it's got a little bit multicolors. and then i had this crazy thought i don't know if it's going to work or not but i'm going to try pulling out the old gilding paste just to see how that works i know this is wet this would be much better to wait if it was dry but i'm not gonna wait we're gonna try it wet and this is wax so it, it might not matter um get some out there there we go got some on the old finger 
Uh, let's just see what we get here. I'm just gonna like, randomly smoosh it on here. Just see what happens. It's kind of pretty. Oh, I like it. This is really pretty. But sometimes you just gotta get in there and play with stuff. You know what I mean? Go off the rails. Try different things. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so I should probably do it all on one side, then all on the other side. But no, apparently I can't do that. I'm just randomly doing it. Get more. Okay. Squish. Oh, this is so cool. Um, you could also do this with gold paint. That would work. Don't have uh, gilding paste. But yeah, this is pretty. I mean, can you I can appreciate? Can you appreciate the beauty? Of this odd little thing that was just made. I don't know. I think it's a really cool thing. That would make a gorgeous um, junk journal sash to tie a junk journal in. So you just never know. Kind of think about what pigments you have and what you could do with them and uh, how you could have fun with it. It might give you some ideas to play with. Never forget about your old coffee cup. It can be a great resource to coffee dye some muslin. So there you go, folks. Um, put this down here again, just give you some random ideas. And let me go see if little Mr. Flufferface has anything to say. Oh, he's right here. Yep. And he's all curled upside down. You Are you warm? Are you warm? You look like you're warm. Come, little bun bun. Okay. All right. He's got like belly up. And let's see. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> Hello everybody, it's Sunshine. I'm here, flipping my ear forward, dressed and ready for the day as canine reporter. And the garbage man is now going by the front of the house, right on cue. I timed this perfectly. This was perfectly timed, totally planned, I assure you. Um, because when you are a canine reporter, you have to be ready for anything. Because sometimes we like to chase the truck. We do. We like it a lot. We like to bark at the truck. We chase the truck. We watch it make its funny noises and picking up garbage cans and dumping them into the truck. We bark, we bark, we chase, bark, chase, bark, chase, bark, and we stand in wonder of it all. Thank you, sunshine. Out. <laughs> well, you're a little, little oddball today, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay, down, down there you go. All right, folks. I hope you had fun. Just got a goofy crafting today, boy, I'll tell you. But this is like, this is like crafter gold. Oh, my gosh, this is so amazing. And then once it's dry, you could actually go back and rubber stamp it and do fun things with it, too, and draw it, in it with markers or whatever you have. Um, give it a go. So um, if you don't know, I have a free monthly email newsletter uh, that uh, you can sign up for. The link is down below. And uh, you'll get a free digital image emailed to you every month along with a checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, and what have you. And then um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. You can watch video podcasts any day of the week on Spotify. And um, I have an Etsy shop where you can find journals and bundles and kits when they are available. I uh, generally always have fundals available, which are collections of old and interesting papers, um, antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, um, black and white photos, tea cards, you name it, 100 plus pieces and a pack free priority mail shipping comes with that. And I have, I sell digi kits, which are printables and they come, they're themed five pages each. And um, you can buy those in my Etsy shop, over 250 themes to pick from, all sorts of fun themes, uh, lots of animals and insects and um, in Victorian designs. And then um, I really like those purple flowers. And uh, what else? Uh, um, if you want me to print them out for you, I will just buy the print and mail option and then give me the 10 names of digikits that you want. You'll get 50 printed pages on light, nice lightweight cardstock. And that is also uh, includes free priority mail shipping. Just email me or your list of uh, digikit names to Pam at the .com, or you can Etsy message me that list. Um, I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, you should be able to, uh, I try to put links for things that I can find in there. Uh, it is an affiliate link. It does help my shop, but you don't pay more for the items for using my links. Thank you very much. Um, I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, 
this is my coffee mug this is now going straight in the kitchen um uh you can find me on pinterest instagram twitter linkedin facebook come and join our facebook group we're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon everybody take care bye